Hello friends. The text for today is found in the Gospel of Mark. It is uh, the first chapter, Mark 1, verse 15. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. The true religion of Jesus is called the kingdom of God. This kingdom of God is primarily about righteousness, peace, and joy. It is not about obeying ritual laws like food offerings and such. In fact, it is not concerned about outward things at all. Religious forms and ceremonies can be helpful for some, but are not necessary either. And just so you know, outward religion can be faked. No, the religion of Jesus is found in the heart where the Spirit of God resides. The glorious result of the indwelling Spirit is righteousness, which gives us the strength to love God with our whole heart, mind, and soul, and the ability to love our neighbors near or far, friend or foe. This overflowing love fulfills the law. Inwardly, by compassion and humility, and outwardly, by doing no wrong to others. The second benefit is peace with God. We can lose our fear of punishment and of death. And the third result is joy mixed with assurance that we are children of God. The kingdom of God is a foretaste of heaven, preparing us for eternal life. Jesus announced that his kingdom was near, and we may enter it now by repenting and believing the gospel. But some may wonder, why must I repent first? Repentance comes before faith, because you, my friend, are very sick with sin. Your will is distorted and opposed to God's will. Sleeper, awake understand your inner self. For you are filled with worldly desire, anger, and pride. You continue to produce the bitter fruits of strife, boasting, indulgence, and immorality. You stand condemned and deserve God's wrath. It is your just reward for wickedness. Can you save yourself? No. But if you are good from now on, no way. Your current debt is too big as it is. And on your own, you will never be able to obey the commandments perfectly. There must be a deep sorrow in your heart concerning your tragic condition and a sincere desire to change. But if you repent, you are very near the kingdom. So near you need only believe that Jesus came to save sinners like you and me. Then God will announce, Your sins are forgiven. Enter into my kingdom. But be aware that faith is not just a mental assent to truth, but rather a sure trust and confidence in what God did through Jesus Christ on the cross. Do you believe? then peace will fill your heart and joy will flood your soul. Do you believe? Then the love of God will pour into your heart. Do you believe? Then fruit of the Spirit will enter your life and flow out to others. And finally, remember that the world will not support you. Hold fast and continue to seek God's will and way. God is close and ready to bring you into his glorious kingdom. Repent and believe now.